all then, my fellow scout troopers. We are here at Napoleon Total War 3 today. We're on the map Russia 5 B. Today, every player was sent to me by Johnny Lebovin, who's commanding the Swiss Army before us. These allies today are Paranoid, Robert E. Lee, and Sniper Smith Huck. The attackers today, or their opponents, are Fork Number 2, Clarky Boy, Saeed Trump, and DT Chaslock 19. And we'll go through the factions. So, as I said, we've got Swiss faction here before us. We have his allies over here, which are France, 1807, Espana. Over here, France, 1805, 1808. And we have Denmark. Their opponents today are Russia, 1812. We've got here uh, Saxony. And over here, we have Yumakini Peninsula. That's three. Oh, man. It's always three. Where's the fourth? The fourth is annoyingly absent. I'm seeing four flags there. There we go. Netherlands, right there. Alright. So, the points today are we've got two two pointers and three one pointers. So, we've got seven points on the field today. And four points. Looks like they're already in the Blues team's territory. So, they've already got the upper hand here today. But, there are a lot of open spaces. If the um, players choose to fight here, it's going to get complicated very fast. Obviously, the team with the most grenadiers in their army will probably be uh, victorious in this kind of combat, this close style, close quarter combat. In the event that they try to mass here, it'd be weird if they did. The Swiss here can occupy the high ground. Looks like Nineteen Peninsula is heading over this way with his general, which I assume his army's in tow. What else? Nothing else just yet. So, if you want to see your own Napoleon Total War 3 replay feature video on this channel, guys, you can send it to my email at scoutsentertainment at gmail.com. You can also post them to me directly on Discord via private message. You can post them on my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance. Or you can simply tag me in any replay you post on the NTW3 Discord as well. Now, if you also want to help me get discovered by other people and help me up with the YouTube algorithm, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Tick the bell for notifications so you never miss a battle. And leave your own thoughts about this one in the comment section below. Look forward to reading them. Now, I think we might do a small cut here, guys, and we'll be back soon. Alright, guys, we're back. Because we've got the English Cav here slowly approaching. They're running, actually. It looks like they got caught on something. They're running on you. Oh, actually, that's why they're running. I usually slow. I've got them all slow motion. Although, this is really odd here. This shouldn't be happening. Good strike. Good hit. Good hit. We've got some Assas here, but they're just walking into battle. It looks like he tried to get his arty out of there. Well, there must be another one coming in. Because they just destroyed two sets there. English continuing their attack. We got the Kingdom of Saxony on France's right flank along with Russia. Russia's engaged in a heavily heavy attack over here. We got the France 1807 player just really by himself here on his right flank. I thought the French 1805 player had a unit out here before. But that's a crap ton of cavalry. There's some mid-tier dragoons there, they won't be able to hold them back forever. Or will they? France has two units here mid line. No, one just broke. The other one's going to be breaking shortly. Got some similar girls coming in. And we've got some Russian Dragoons over here as well. Saxony's getting the Kyrgyz artillery out of there. Now, Swiss also has his artillery deployed on the hill. They, I would have thought they would have driven the cavalry, enemy cavalry away, but. As soon as the Swiss cavalry got there, that's when Russia really initiated their attack. Like, they thought, you know, now or never we go in or we're going to get shot to hell if we stay here. Now, finally, we see Denmark and France 1805 send their cavalry back this way. I saw a lot of cav on the right flank there of France 1805, but looks like Denmark is sending over some reinforcements. Might be a little bit slowly. Swiss has some. Cavalry over here. Looks like he's pulling them back actually. French Assar's coming in. A lot of pressure here on the France 1807 player. 
We had to fight off cavalry from three factions at least. Actually, four. Because we saw the English, we saw the Saxony, we saw the Russian. Actually, three. Yeah, we didn't see the Netherlands. That's right. He's got some square formations deployed. They make it hard for the enemy to completely overwhelm him. They're shooting their own cab there, they want to watch out for that. Okay, looks like the cavalry here is pulling back. And they're far away from their general and the rest of the army here. It's got to be playing around the morale just a little bit. It might make things easier here for the blue team. But they've got to have enough to match them at least. To have a chance of breaking them. I don't think the Swiss has too much cav in his ranks, at least not anymore. Most of his army here is on the hilltop. He probably should have a couple units here. Those four should probably be deployed over here just to sort of cover his rear. And stop his general from getting sniped. So yeah, a lot of action here in the first few, in the first quarter of the battle. Netherlands armies approaching Denmark. You'd think Denmark might be sh wanting to shift his army a little bit to the left to join the ranks of France. A little. The Russian army here, the morale is sort of fluctuating a little bit. The French artillery obviously having a little bit of success here. Four eight pounders. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Some good hits there. Could destroy the cannons. Okay, Saxony coming in. You can see most of his army now. Still can't see the English army just yet. What's this over here? It's just Netherlands cavalry. Denmark here, they're gonna go for a strike here on the Netherlands Arty. I don't think they're gonna get away. There is reinforcements in tow, but not close enough. Okay, this will get two out of three. That one might come back. We've seen that in the past. Yeah, I don't know if these guys would come back. But Denmark has their six pounder deployed. That one is actually pretty exposed here. But if they disappear like that, I imagine it's going to be tough to sort of take them out. These guys here can form square. This crew probably shouldn't run too far. They get into the safety of the square. We have killed their generals. Now they must break. Who was that? Ah, oh, Swiss went for a strike. We saw the Swiss cavalry in the background there. Thought they might be sn sniffing around for a general strike. But I didn't, didn't know they could pull it off. We've got artillery here from Saxony, which they probably will target next, you'd have to think. I mean, it's right there. Come on, Johnny, take it out. No, where is he? Is he going for them or what's he doing? Yeah, there you go. Yep, we just managed to take him out. Our men are running, this unit definitely got his he definitely got his money's worth out of that unit. There's the English army right there. Now it was pulled back originally, now they come back in. And they're approaching Denmark's left, so right wing there, which is a little bit odd. Because the artillery is there, you see. I thought Denmark was pulling back and shifting his approach to sort of focus on Denmark's right wing. That way he can sort of get the enemy troops between him and the enemy artillery. So he could use that mark as cover essentially on an open plane. I thought that's what he was trying to do when he pulled back there, but it looks like he's heading straight towards, so I question the deployment here. I don't know why he's deliberately exposing his army to the Denmark artillery. He could have shifted his approach to sort of protect his army from that. Brush is here also. 
So we've got a two on one scenario here. France 1805 better get his ass over here. I think Denmark's gonna need his help. Okay, I see a few units there breaking off heading this direction. One good hit there. One good hit is better than none. Oh, but this is this is the area to strike. I mean, you got two units here bunched up together. Probably begging your crew to reload and fire. Yep. Looks like the first one sort of just knocked them around a little bit, just rattled them. I wouldn't say it was a good hit. Blood spider usually indicates a good hit. Actually, he's being very aggressive, too aggressive maybe for his own good. He does have reinforcements though, they could head off the French. But they're not heading their direction. Well, that only serves the blue team well. So France is going to get over here pronto. If Russia's not going to face him, then he should take out the vulnerable units in front of him. We might see Russia redeploy soon, you have to think. I mean, we've got four units here firing on this one core unit. Not firing that fast, are they? Okay, I've seen some Russian units. Now those four Russian units have turned course. They're headed this way. They must got to plug this gap a little bit. to fire. Where'd that go? Maybe over everyone's head. Okay, there you go. That was a good shot. And just hit the forearm. There's a third guy. Got enemy cavalry in the distance there. They're firing canister shot. Taking out a few, but no more than they would with a regular sh shot. So maybe if they just fire a regular shot, I think they get more kills that way. At that range, anyway. We got their yeah, cavalry's been shifted over here to try and take out the Arty. Christian von Spath. Yeah, about six there. Yeah, there's something else at the time. Oh no, I can just spend the square now. Yeah. Thought they were still in the fight. Oh, six there, give or take. It appears worth it to fight canister shot, I guess. I'll change my mind then. You know, France 1805 needs to bring up some more reserves. England's upon him. He's got two units here in a very strange formation. He's got to spread them out a little bit better. He's already helping out to a degree.
We are about a quarter of the way through. This is an 80 minute fight. Although England has these units here, they don't really have a good target. They might be able to shoot. Yeah, they could probably shoot the, this unit here and onwards. But remember, I think these two here at least, they're exposed to the artillery right on the hilltop there. And France needs to get these guys over here pronto and spread themselves out a little bit so they can fire better on the English line here. Keep their attention off France. And we've also got Russian forces behind them now as well. Russia's incoming. France has got to get these reserves up here. His front line needs help. Denmark is trying to pull back. The artillery crew ran away, so he hasn't lost this artillery piece yet. He just can't use it. No, no, don't run them back, mate. They're just going to die. No, he shouldn't have done that. He should have saved them. He might have saved them. He could have put them in the house here for safekeeping. Now he's trying to run the cavalry up here to run interference for the artillery crew. They are, they are literally trying to get a point blank shot off. And they're going to do it. Oh, jeez. That was a shot. That was a shot. Right there. They managed to fire all three cannons before they were upon them. But why didn't they fire cannons a shot? I don't know. I mean, that, that was really good. So it, was, so it was a cinematic shot. But at that range, cannons a shot was the choice. Maybe you didn't have an option. I don't know. But a cannons shot at that range... I think would have easily broken that unit, or at least annihilated 75%. These guys here, one unit can form square. I think, oh no, they're not forming square. Saxony putting a lot of pressure here on Denmark. There more cavalry coming in. broken and they're right next to the red line don't know if you should charge the cab in get him out of there he's a little bit indecisive they should be safe he's poor Denmark he's being surrounded by Russia here Cap here. We've got the Russian general that could be killed if he's not too careful. Saxony charging in again. The only thing Denmark can do is try and kill as many as he can. These guys here, they've got to turn around. He's got himself covered now. They're firing. They're about to lose the building. This building has fallen to the enemy. That's not good. I think uh, Denmark might have lost his general there. Sniper. Yep.
We might see Denmark collapse any second now. Swiss was on his way. France 1807 entered the city and engaged in the street fight. Looks like it's been slow going here. Denmark needed all the help in the world and he, he got a little but nowhere near enough. And with the loss of his general that's not going to help things. What does Swiss do here? Why are they charging like that? They gotta get out of there. And get some elite Russian cab coming in. Oh, no, they're going there. Bugger. Russia's got troops in front, behind, and Cav here is not escaping. He's not getting out of here. Well, things are a little bit dire here for the blue team. He's going to form some sort of triangular, I don't know where he's going. They're going to break on the run. France has to just move in. They've got to move in and try to overwhelm the enemy here, kill as many as they can. Level the playing field somewhat because they've lost Denmark. This is now a 4v3 scenario. Looks like we've got French troops here at the bottom moving up. Don't give up, fellas. We've got a lot of forces here grouped down below in the valley. Now, if I was in the blue team and I had any artillery nearby, I'd probably redeploy it this direction to shoot at the incoming enemy forces which will be a huge mob presenting good targets you definitely get some good kills good hits do some decent damage soften up a bit for the late game which could give the blue team the edge in the fight they need to get to achieve victory yeah that's the kind of progression i want to see right there Nice bayonet charging the skirmishes. I think they got time to chase down this other skirmisher unit. There's some English units in the area, but they're a little far away. Maybe, and then, uh, they're gonna go in melee. The eye is already in position. I wonder if they're firing down here. Yeah, there you go. They fire all at once. Uh, they nicked the Royal Highlanders. We've got them getting back up. There's a building here that could get in their way soon. Yeah, unlucky. I 
the fence is trying to force Saxony out. No forces are here in the area. Not enough to send Saxony run. Swiss man maintains control of the blue building. The two pointer to the north. Okay, Saxony is breaking a little bit here. Swiss is moving out, so is, so is France off the building. Swiss is leaving a couple of units behind there to protect France's artillery. Now, what's France going to do here? Shooting at the retreating forces. Not England's pulling back. I half wonder if they're shooting through the trees. Battle's sort of sliding down a little bit here. It's a little bit hard to follow. But so far, it looks like Saxony, England are just sort of falling back a little bit for now. They're going to reorganize themselves and then try to move around in a wider arc, probably around France and just move in on the town and just push him back inside. We got a couple of youth, a couple of French units out here. Some chivalers coming in. Go turn around France. Maybe they should be falling square or something. Or bayonet charging the cab. They're coming in. Form square, man. Form square. Come on. No, you can't form square. That's the wrong unit. The unit that could form square didn't form square in time. So the unit's gonna break. Yep. And Swiss has a some sort of perimeter. It will be enough to keep the elite cap at bay. Maybe. They're going in. Can he form square? Will he form square? Yep, the answer is yes. Holding them back at least for now. And here come the Russians. They're doing what they do the best, they're coming in for a bayonet slaughter. And they've got to start firing. Um, they're charging the cab to make it form square. France is sending a reinforcements. Just when things will die here for the Swiss. 
Friends and reinforcements arrive, giving him a glimpse of hope to stay in the fight. These elite caps come back in. And the Swiss has formed square still. Well, he, he just disbanded the square. Russian Dragoons coming in. With the more reinforcements coming in. The Swiss line is... it might actually hold. I thought things might be over here for the Swiss, but they managed to turn that around. The Cathy's also hit a brick wall. We've got reinforcements here. They've already formed square now too. But it looks like the infantry line will hold. We've got the Russian general here that should be fired upon. That's a thing. Come on, time to fire. Fire away, boys. Our men are running for us. Oh, they're not firing, not yet. Don't gonna pull out. Ah, the moment was there. Swiss is forming square. So the cavalry unit here have sustained a lot of casualties, but they're still in the fight. Oh, they were about to fire there. Saxony charging the cab. You might Our break them. Yep. You know it's gone. Swiss are getting overwhelmed. Saxony Hussars running away for now. Got to reform over here. Russia's come back in for round two. They're getting friendly fight here. They're shooting at their own troops. Our men are running. Trying to reform. France is getting themselves into position. Come on, French. It's a bit tight. Have reinforcements. France has some reinforcements over here. You, you, can, you gotta give the Russians credit, they can sure as hell take a hit. Swiss have managed to hold the hill. Despite the odds against them, with the help of France 1805 and the Swiss armies, they've managed to pull their resources together and pull off a, a miracle, I think. I thought they were gone for good at one point. Nice work, fellas. Nice counter-attacks. It's not over, though. English forces and Saxony's forces are here. I don't know the if Saxony the used his cab before when he pulled them out, or the Russia used all their cab. I think now they're here. They're all here. They've still got a lot of cab here. This is not over by a long shot. Now, Saxony is seeing an opportunity here to take out one of the French units. Every, every unit killed brings them closer to victory. Saxony cabins don't die easily. Now, 
there's no Netherlands forces here. We got a few French units somehow over here. Where'd they come from? These guys here can form square. They are going to form square. Good. The other units that can't form square are seeking shelter. Preserving a unit. It's gonna make sure they send the fire at will. They don't want these guys firing. Swiss are moving forwards. Thankfully, all three units here can form square. The, with the cavalry presence here, it'd be suicide to send units to Carnathorn Square out to the open plain. Now, it looks like France is fine holding his ground here. It's, it might be a mistake for Saxon and England not to press the attack. At the moment, they could overwhelm France's front line with what with the resources they have. But if the other forces here are defeated and they haven't broken through here, then I think the red team is finished. Also, didn't the Swiss occupy that hill? Yeah, General must be inside there as well. We've got an English unit over here. They can't do anything to the units inside the building. And Denmark! Denmark has returned! He's back. He wants revenge. They're gonna avenge their fallen general. This is, what, this is what happens when you don't destroy an enemy army that's broken. Just because they're broken doesn't mean they won't come back. These guys here probably were all broken, all routing before. But because their enemies didn't finish them off, they now have to deal with them again. And I don't think they were expecting this. Damn, I could be real thorn over there. But Netherlands setting up a unit by itself. All right. And we've got cab in the distance there. They can't run that down. I am a little bit surprised. I don't see Swiss sending up reinforcements there just to shore up the attack and help Denmark succeed. So Denmark can bring his army. What's left of it anyway to help them face off against the English and Saxony forces, I think, to the east. Denmark might have told them he's fine. Go ahead, guys, you go ahead and fight. I'll try and handle these guys here. He's looking pretty comfortable, isn't he? He's broken through. But uh, I think I do think Swiss needs to send his forces back this way. Cut off the um, retreat of the Netherlands. And just help Denmark finish them off. I don't think Denmark can assault that building and take it without losing his forces. Remember, he's lost his general. Alright guys, day. we're back. England has initiated a sneak attack. And successfully killed Johnny's general and captured the building. The unit of Hollanders snuck their way over here. And it looks like red team's in the lead. Now the pressure's on the blue team. 
take the buildings. The entire unit is dead, sir. It looks like they're beginning their attack. I wonder who they're shooting at. Okay, must be these guys. More troops moving up. We've got a spare unit over here not doing anything. Maybe he's forgotten about it. We've got two units here. All hands on deck, guys. Get him in the fight. Are these calves still hovering around. They're just waiting for reinforcements before we see them push. Here, they're being fired upon by troops inside the, and outside the building. Kind of a tense moment. I'm trying to see which side will gain the upper hand. The morale of Saxony forces here is a little bit shaky. This is where France, I think, needs to move forward. He's got to press his advantage. Right now, he's sort of got Saxony on the ropes here. If he can break a few, he could potentially cause a mass chain round. Saxony Musketeers are here. Denmark has almost arrived themselves. Okay, good. I was going to say these two units here need to move up. He's got to get in closer. France might have England here. See more of them fall. Okay, they broke. They're gonna move in. They're falling back. Why are they falling back? They have the advantage. That's the time to press the attack, not to reform. Unless he sees something I don't. That's what he saw. I didn't see that. Take everything back there, France. He probably really wanted to press the attack when he saw that. And probably thought he couldn't cover his army if he moved forward. I wonder if these musketeers here, if they're out of ammunition or not. They're still firing.
like Saxony is losing in the fight here. Yeah, he's really sticking his neck out over here. I don't know why Saxony's getting so close. You can see France is just pounding him. I have one if he's having ammunition or not. Okay, he broke. Okay, he broke one, can he break the other? Nope, yeah he did, he did. France is moving up here. We better either charge inside that building here or start firing. I don't think it's going to we'll struggle to hit the units on the second and third floors. Swiss might be going for that building. They're going to try and recapture the building on the hill. Swiss is sending most of his army here this way. Denmark's sending his forces along with some French as well. Yeah, that's it. The west side is clear. I wonder if the French army will simply charge inside the building now. I got these East Devonshire troops. Shouldn't be too difficult. And that's one, that's two. No, yeah, you gotta think. Charge in, be done with it. They got the numbers to move in and take that, easy. But they're pulling back and they're being shot at. Why? What reason is there? Okay, let's go back in again. Other forces are summiting the hill. Oh, it's not going to be an easy fight. The 
firing inside the building here. win. Okay, let me get on his four. Saeed Trump. We've never for the final four. French troops rushing up the stairs. This is the English general here. We've conquered the building. And it looks like this is, a, this is just a drama. Swiss sending in forces to recapture their lost building. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must pray. Okay, one general there's fallen. The Russian general there just fell. Shot by one of the guys in the building, it was seen. Okay, the first attempt to take the building here has failed. And the English took out reinforcements, so we're going to be sent inside the building originally. Send them all in, Johnny. Send them all in. Once they capture this building, it's over. We've got the points to, to win it out. Can't send troops one in at a time. He's got to send in everything he's got. Sending reinforcements. I guess the Highlanders they need some they need some more support. Why not be shooting at their own men inside the building? There you go. So now you're better coming in. That's Denmark forces as well. Not England held, at least for now. Okay, Swiss continues sending more men. See some French troops coming in now as well. Okay, we've won the building. We've taken all the points. We've got some minor skirmishes going on here now. One more unit here on the field. Oh, could this be resolved by the French general? Come on, man, charge in. 
think he's going to do it. Looks like he was practicing for something. Now, either we are finished or there's another unit there inside the building. Now, we got a victory here. So, well done to Johnny Le Buffon on 1355. Paranoid, 1096. Robert E. Lee, 1860. Sniper Smith Huck, 1010. Fork number 2, 1311. Clarky Boy, 1810. Sayed Trump, 1022. And Chastlock, 19, 1115. So, well done to all players there. Good kill counts, guys. Okay, kill counts for Johnny range from 273. Ranging all the way down to two for his general there. But yeah, a couple units there get over 200 kills there, so nicely done. And the Elliot there, 184 and 118. So, get a few stand-up performances there, especially from the Nicholas Castiel de Berens. These line infantry there served him very well. And that is that. So if you guys want to see your own re replay feature there on this channel, once again, guys, you can send to my email at scoutsentertainment.gmail.com. You can post them to me directly on the Discord via private message. You can post them to my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, as well. Or you can tag me in any repay you post on the NTW3 Discord as well. This is Mika from Scouts Maintenance signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scout Troopers. Catch you in the next Total War battle.